So if you didn't know, there is something called the Entertainment Software Association in the United States. It has been around actually since 1994. It is a trade association that is made up of basically the top publishers of video games in the U.S. They do a bunch of stuff. They wear a bunch of hats. They uh, actually own or I guess oversee the ESRB, which basically does ratings for video games. They're also uh, the people behind E3, which of course has, has recently failed. And they even talk politics sometimes, like sometimes they actually go in front of Congress and talk about stuff that is related to video games or things that could affect them. And obviously among things that could affect them is the recent conversation that has blown up recently that talks about video game preservation. I think it's a very good conversation that people are having now. Basically, there are a lot of gamers in this conversation that are saying, hey, video game preservation is very important. There are a ton of games that either are unavailable for purchase entirely or like go offline if they're like a live service type of game and that that is a problem. The number that I keep remembering is 13% from that study over the summer that uh, basically revealed that only 13% of classic video games are still available for purchase legally. I cannot believe that. Literally 87% of video games are not available. That's crazy. So yeah, big conversation about this. Obviously gamers are, you know, pro video game conservation efforts, whereas it would seem that publishers are not exactly anti conservation efforts, but more or less they will oppose it if it is not something that they could see as benefiting them in the long run. Well, I guess there has been a conversation about archiving video games in a sort of library format. Yeah, I saw this come up today. It's very interesting to me and I'm really, really trying to look into it to make sure that I'm not just being like completely blindsided by like a, a misrepresentation of what they're actually saying, but I legitimately think that this uh, specific conversation about libraries is talking about like physical libraries and I think that's very cool so people actually want video games like books to be archived in what I believe uh, to be physical libraries because after all they are a form of art just like books I don't know if in this unique proposition of libraries I don't know if they're talking about like uh, public libraries that already exist or if they're more talking about like building libraries and having them specifically be for video games almost like a museum but in this proposition Position, and I think this actually makes a ton of sense. People have said that this sort of library format would, at the very least, be used in a very good way for researchers. Like people researching video games, people doing studies like the one I just mentioned, you know, the 13% the study. Because if you don't make these classic video games available, you make research a lot harder to do. Well, unfortunately, the Entertainment Software Association, or the ESA, they came out last week. Uh, this was reported by Game Developer. Now, it's kind of weird. The way I understand it, they, I, I don't know, in a way kind of contradicted themselves because they made the point that they are not obstructing efforts to make this whole library thing happen. They claim that they have a commitment to preservation of video games, but they don't want that to get in the way of copyright. Yeah, that's right. They are against this whole library thing because of copyright. They feel that archiving all of these video games would threaten certain copyright protections of these video games and their publishers. Very interesting, and I do think that is kind of funny because a lot of these games are decades old, but, uh, you know, copyright is copyright. It is very obvious, though, that the ESA is ultimately made up of, you know, game publishers. Obviously, game publishers, as much as they want to say they are pro-game preservation, they want to protect their own interests at the end of the day, and that includes protecting their own copyright interests. So that is too bad that the ESA kind of shot this down. I think that the whole library thing is a cool, very unique idea. I'm still trying to understand it entirely. Obviously, there's, you know, digital libraries. Uh, that would kind of make more sense to me in terms of what would actually make sense in the long run for something like this. I think digital preservation makes a lot more sense than, you know, physical preservation. But I still think the idea of having entire libraries for, like, Mario games, Halo games, Final Fantasy games, and, like, random games from 40 years ago you never knew existed... I think that sounds pretty sweet, but apparently, because of how this could affect copyright, I don't think it's actually ever going to happen.